guys, this is Panther Sam back with another video. And today I'm gonna be reacting and like predicting the dolphin schedule in this video. So in week one, the Dolphins will be taking on the New England Patriots in New England to start off the season. I think the Pats will win this game. So the Dolphins will take their first L because um I don't think they're gonna be able to be go in week one and have everyone like ready and stuff. Because, like, there's a lot of, like, new players and stuff. So, I don't think they're all going to be, like, schemed and, like, all that ready in the scheme because of the offseason. Them not really being able to um, do anything during the offseason except for virtual stuff. And also, I think the Pats will be able to get a close win there. Most of you guys haven't already. Um, let me know down in the comments below um, what what you would like me to do with this series if you'd like me to continue the AFC East one or if you want me to start a new division just let me know down in the comments below and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe it would really mean a lot to me I'm trying to hit 80 by the end of um trying to hit 80 by the end of May hopefully you guys can make that happen because 80 per 86 percent of you aren't subscribed so we'll have to see but let's just continue with the video so week two the Dolphins come home and play the Buffalo Bills I think the Dolphins will also lose this game because the Bills are pretty good, I would say. And the Dolphins, I don't think they're going to be able to win this game just because they're not going to be ready yet. So they will take an L there. So in week three, they play the Jaguars in Jacksonville. I think they'll beat the Jaguars because Jaguars, who knows with them anymore? Like, they ruin their organization. They get rid of Saxonville in 2017. And like, pretty much all those people are gone. They trade everybody or cut everybody or whatever. The only person that's still there is that Yonka Agangwe, I think is how you say it, who will most likely get traded because he's been ripping the owner and all that. So I doubt they're going to keep him, but we'll have to wait and see. So after three weeks, the Dolphins are one and two, going into week four at home against the Seattle Seahawks. Which I think they'll lose this game because the Seahawks are really good in my opinion. And they made it to playoffs last year with DK Metcalf, who will only get better. And that defense will just get better because it's young, most of it, except for KJ Wright. So, that'll put them down to one and three. Then in week five, they have to go on the road to San Francisco and play the 49ers, the NFC champs from last year. I don't think they're going to be able to go to San Francisco and beat the NFC champs. And I think they'll stay pretty good this year as well because they really didn't lose that much. Yes, I know they lost Buckner, but they got that guy from South Carolina, Jevon something, to replace him. So, I think it's fine there. So that'll drop them the one and four on the year going into week six. So going into week six, they play the Denver Broncos in Denver. And I think this one will be a close game, but I think the Bron or the Dolphins will get a slight win in Denver to put them up to two and four on the season. Then in week seven, they'll be playing at home against the Los Angeles Chargers, which I think they'll lose because I don't think they're going to be good enough to beat the Los Angeles Chargers because... Chargers, I think, are going to be really good if they can get a good quarterback. Oops, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. But I think they're going to be pretty good because I don't, if they, even if they have like a decent quarterback, they have really good weapons, so I think they'll be able to thrive even if they're not the greatest quarterback. And then also they can uh, get a good run pass going, like where they don't know it's going to be a run or a pass with Austin Eckler, then it could be really good, that offense as well. So Dolphins will lose that one. Then in week eight, they'll be playing the Rams at home, which I think they'll lose this one as well, but I think a closer game because the Rams, I don't think are as good as they used to be, but I still think they'll be able to beat the Dolphins because I don't think the Dolphins are going to be that great, but we'll have to wait and see. And then week nine, the Dolphins have to go on the road to Arizona and play the Arizona Cardinals, which I think they'll win this game because I don't think the Cardinals are that good this season or going to be that good this season. So say they win that. And then in week 10, they have to come home. They come home and play the New York Jets, which I think they'll lose that game. So I feel like the Jets will get a good enough offensive attack and score, and then the Dolphins' offense won't be able to keep up. At least that's my opinion. So by the bye week, which is week 11 for the Dolphins, they will be 3-7, and seven, which I would say is okay for the Dolphins. Like, yes, for most teams, obviously, you're probably not going to make the playoffs at that point, but... For the Dolphins, I feel like that's all right. So going into week 12, they will be playing the Jets again, but now in New York, which I think they'll also lose this game because the Jets, I think, are going to be good. 
at home and also home in a way might not really matter this year because there might not most likely there's not even gonna be fans at least for the first half of the season not confirmed just most likely so the home crowds probably won't even make a difference but still i think they'll win in both spots so the dolphins will get swept in the season series by the jets so that puts them down to three and eight on the year going into week 13 against the Cincinnati Bengals at home. I think they'll beat the Bengals. I think it'll be a close game because Joe Burrow and Tua, I think, would both do really good if they're both starting, obviously. Because I think this is going to be a close game. I think the Dolphins are going to get the slight edge at home, even though home field doesn't really matter. So that'll put them up to four and eight on the year going into week 14 against the Kansas City Chiefs at home, which I don't think they're going to beat the Chiefs. I think that Chiefs offense is just going to be too much for defense to handle. And also, I don't think the offense will be able to keep up. So that will give them another L on the year, which will put them down to 4-9 and nine on the year going into Week 15. And it's the New England Patriots in Miami, which I think this game will be won by the Dolphins to put them up to 5-9 and nine on the year. Because I think they'll be able to win at home against the Patriots because I don't think the Patriots are that good. And also by week 15, they'll all be adjusted to their new like schemes and playbooks and the players like Kyle Van Noy and all that will be adjusted and Brian jo Byron Jones and hopefully two up for their sake and all that. So I'm going to have them at five and nine. So in week 16, they have to go to Las Vegas and play the Las Vegas Raiders, which I don't think they're going to win in Vegas because... First, they have to take a long trip, and second of all, I think the Raiders are going to get the slight edge over the Dolphins, so that will put them down to 5-10 and 10 on the year, going into Week 17 against the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo to finish off the season. I don't think they're going to be able to go into Buffalo and win, because first of all, it's going to be cold, and I don't think the Dolphins are going to play that well in the cold, and second of all, just the Buffalo Bills are a really good team, so I think they'll lose that one in Week 17 to finish as a final record of 5-11. of 11. So comparing that to the rest of the AFC East standings I've predicted so far. So I've predicted the Bills, Jets, and Dolphins so far, not the Pats. Pats will most likely be tomorrow, but we'll have to see if there's like breaking news and that will come first, then the Pats, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So in first place, we have the Bills at 11 and five. Second place, we have the Jets at seven and nine. And in third place, we have the Dolphins at five and 11. So, so far my prediction is that's my prediction for the rec for the record and the standings. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys agree or if you disagree. And also, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So it would really mean a lot to me. And yeah, I'm trying to hit 80 by the end of May. We'll have to see if that happens. It's that time of recording this video, it's May 15th, Friday, May 15th. So we have about half the month left. So let's see if we can get there. So um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.